Welcome back to the channel where we explore, learn, and theorize about the Marvel Universe. Today I'll be talking about Sony's Amazon Prime Silk Show, the budget for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and a plot leak for Thor 4. If you're new to the channel or even if you've been watching for a while, make sure you subscribe because more than 96% of you guys aren't subscribed. And if you think you're subbed, double check because apparently there's a glitch where people are getting unsubscribed from certain channels. And remember that a subscription is free for you, but it really helps the channel a lot. And you can always unsub later if you want. Now let's get started. According to the Illuminati sources, Sony Pictures TV is in the early stages of developing a Silk TV show which will run on Amazon Prime. The lead role is described as Korean-American, between 19 and 20 years old, a kid from Queens who's on her own for the first time. Although she's a total beginner in law enforcement and fighting crime, she's said to love the feeling of beating up criminals to let her frustrations out, and has an affinity for 80s and 90s pop culture. She also struggles with her identity and heritage, but she tries to focus on her family, friends, and relationships. Sang Kyu Kim is locked in as a showrunner and executive producer for Silk, and it'll be produced by Sony mainstays Chris Miller and Phil Lord. Additionally, the two have met with Adeline Rudolph for the lead role. Next, according to Variety, the budget for The Falcon and the Winter Soldier is $150 million, an average of $25 million per episode. And this is good news because WandaVision had the same $25 million budget per episode. However, in WandaVision's case, they had to do a lot more CGI with the magic and powers. But since we know that there will be more practical effects in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, that leaves more room for other things like bigger stunts and fights. And lastly, a plot leak for Thor Love and Thunder was posted on 4chan, so like always, here's the normal spoiler warning as things on 4chan have been right in the past. So take this with a grain of salt, but it could be fully or partially right. And this really just seems like stuff that's already been confirmed mixed in with other previous leaks. Anyway, the leaker starts with the movie as a cosmic road trip through the Nine Realms. Thor is in space going on adventures with the Guardians of the Galaxy. He is fit again, and they all have new looks and are basically intergalactic rock stars. Thor is an alien warrior with a vendetta against the gods for not saving his people and slaughtering them across the universe with the Necrosword. Thor returns to Earth and reunites with Jane Foster, who has cancer. She's able to wield Mjolnir, and it prevents her cancer from spreading while she's powered up. Jane keeps Mjolnir while Thor uses Stormbreaker. Valkyrie is still running New Asgard, which has become a cultural landmark. Korg and Meek have administrative jobs, and Valkyrie gets a new female love interest. The Asgardian theater troupe, Luke Hemsworth as fake Thor, Matt Damon as fake Loki, and Sam Neill as fake Odin, now joined by Melissa McCarthy as fake Hela are back, reenacting the events of Thor Ragnarok. Thor and Jane meet with Lady Sif on an ice planet, probably Svartalfheim, where she was dumped by Loki as Odin years before. She has a new look and a bad attitude. Thor also visits Valhalla and meets with Heimdall. Lady Sif and Valkyrie have roughly the same amount of screen time. The Guardians of the Galaxy aren't in the movie much, but they appear throughout the film instead of just one scene. Loki doesn't appear to be in the movie, though some earlier rumors said that he would appear and be the one who brings Jane's Mjolnir from a parallel timeline. The movie's central theme is love and how it affects people. Thor is determined to save Jane, and Jane enjoys being with Thor again and sharing his power. But they both ultimately have to come to terms with the fact that she'll die soon, and they're just avoiding the inevitable. The movie ends on a bittersweet note with Thor and Jane accepting that and just enjoying the time they have left. Sif is still secretly in love with Thor and dies for him in the end. Valkyrie struggles to open up after losing the love of her life, and even Gore is driven by the family that he lost because of the gods' neglect. But let me know what you guys think about all this. Are you excited for Silk, and do you mind that it'll be on Amazon Prime? What do you think they'll use the rest of the budget for in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier? And what did you think of the Thor plot leak? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.